used as a visual novel set in the old London um, world building. The, the Fallen London world. And uh, this is the demo of a romance visual novel set in the same universe. I've never played this before. I don't know a lot about it. But already I'm liking the main menu. I like the animation. I like the, how the mouse looks like. In February 1862, with no warning at all, London fell through the surface of the earth. This was meant to be a year of progress and industry, the Great Exposition, trams, a new sewer system. Instead, we find ourselves dwelling in a cave. It's October now. The fires have been put out. The bodies have been buried. But the future remains unimaginable. The time before, impossibly distant. The past, who were you? Oh, we get to pick. An arcane academic. I studied esoteric writings, the hierarchies of spirits, the language of angels, the practical powers of creation. I have friends in high places and am familiar with the church's ways, whether I agree with it or not. A dock worker's child. My father worked in worked the docks on loading ships. My uncle was a sailor. We were on the right side of the law, but the same couldn't always be said for our friends. The docks are allied with the working class and with criminals. Okay, so we have two choices. Um, I'm gonna go with the sailor backstory. That's me. Down here, your name is whatever you say it is. Oh, what was that? Sorry, I think something unplugged temporarily. It should be working now. Down here, your name is whatever you say it is. Often there's no one left to remember who you used to be. Some people hold tight, tight to the names they carried before. Some reinvent themselves completely. I prefer strangers to address me as... detective. Um, Lieutenant's sort of detective-y, but my friends call me... some money, we have some papers, we have the time. That's me, Chisky to my friends, Lieutenant to strangers. Ooh, the background looks so detailed. Okay, we have choices now. That's how I was- oh, so it's like, um, this is retroactively changing us. I like that. And that's how I was addressed even before London fell. Or, I'm a different person down here than I was above. Or, down here I'm finally able to use the name that always fit me. So are, are we the same or have we changed? Um, I'm a 
different person down here than I was above. Oh, we pick a cameo. A cameo is those um, silhouettes that you sometimes see in uh, jewelry. Uh, which one is kind of twisty-ish? to be when I find people to be close to I'm looking for this is interesting friendship or attraction rather than romance or romance rather than attraction or both romance and attraction. Um, romance rather than attraction. Okay, we can confirm afterwards, that's nice. That's we're given the choice again. Um, yeah, this looks right. Right now, I'm meant to be helping with the census, find, finding out who lives in my neighborhood. The first census results are due tomorrow. If I turn them in, I get paid the first money to come my way in nearly two months. If I don't, I'm going to disappoint Grizz badly. I wonder who Grizz is. She knew I was in trouble. Oh, hello! Hello, Nacho Lime Guy. Um, this is Mask of the Rose. We're playing the demo of it. It's um, a visual novel romance set in the same universe as Fallen London, which is this kind of um, dark, um, alternate London where it sinks into the center of the earth and there's this whole other so Victorian inspired society to it hey tasty I'm enjoying it so far I'm quite happily surprised with the visuals and the um, the choices already we got to customize the character She even gave me... Oh, there's a bit of lag? Hang on. I think there's too much going on, so I think I'm good to switch to this and this should hopefully help new item acquired the badge of the ministry of accounting and recounting in front of the badge looks almost like a constable's badge with the lion and unicorn blazoned on it no i didn't mean it like that well it 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 was having like lag issues the stream isn't healthy, so I, I think it does help. Do you want me to switch it back on? It might be more laggy if that we do do that. Oh, it meant... I meant when I type, it takes about 20. 
<laughs> 20 seconds for it to come through. Why do I keep causing trouble? No, you're not. It's fine. Hang on. We'll bring... We'll bring it back. We'll bring Tusky back. Do, 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 do. Let it load up. And we're back. Um, the badge of the Ministry of Accounting and Recounting. Um, constable's badge with a lion and unicorn blazoned onto it. The back of the badge has some kind of symbol I don't recognize. Hot to the touch. I keep it with the clothes I have from before the fall, and the few odd items I found more recently. Aww. I keep it with the clothes I have from before the fall, and the few odd items I found more recently. Oh, change outfit. Oh nice, we get to customize our outfit too. Outfit notes, not a very sophisticated look, not much of a look at all. Mushroom hat, grand, exo exotically trimmed and very much a creation of the niece. Wearing this hat when courting always inspires me with additional flirtatious things to say. top it's the perfect thing to wear while seafaring even if there's not much option of that here were up here. She glances at the badge I'm wearing. I suppose I should be glad you're thinking about the census, even if you didn't get around to leaving the house. I react to that the way I react to many things these days. stay long. This looks like the weekend. Hope you have lots of fun and we'll chat soon. Yeah, thank you very much for dropping by. I enjoyed it. And uh, I'm glad you liked the game. So far, um, I'm enjoying it as well. Have a good evening. Bye! I thought I'd wait for a change in the weather. A lovely snow, perhaps? There's no sunshine down here. There are no yet there are no yellow pea soup fogs. There's no rain, except occasionally a fine mist. Londoners lost half of our topics of conversation when we fell. Come tomorrow evening we need to have at least a few census 
forms filled out. Or I'm going to be the one explaining to Mr. Pages. And if that happens, I'm not going to help you with your employment prospects again. Chris works for the Ministry of Accounting and Recounting. It seems to agree with her. She wears trousers to work and comes home at all hours. It's very important to her being taken seriously by these employers. The next thing I do is characteristic two. Okay, so we're building our personality here. Sorry, to be frank, I didn't like the look of the city today. Too many dark alleys. I will say we have something to turn in. You still have some time tomorrow. She gives me a hard look as though she could s stuff some integrity into a person just by glaring hard enough. What do you think of the questions? I have not read the questions yet. I've only glanced at the sheet of paper. They're written in the most peculiar spiked handwriting, and there are punctures in the paper in random spots. I was going to review them in the morning. By the refreshing dawn light, there's no dawn here. The light tomorrow morning will be exactly the same as it is now. The only difference is the angle of the hands on the clock. Here, try the questions on me. Say you've just knocked on the door and I have come to answer it. Yes, what do you want? Oh, okay, so dial choices with um with the shirt symbol means that it's it's unlocked from the outfit I chose. So since I have my badge I can choose this. Introduce myself as an agent of the ministry, showing my badge. Good evening. On behalf of the Ministry of Accounting and Recounting, I have a few questions. Oh, how lovely. I'm so grateful these ministries are looking after us. How many people live in this establishment? Ter How many people live in this establishmentation? Is that a word? Establishmentation? That's what I wa was wondering. My superiors are enthusiastic embellishers of the language. They use linguistic elasticity. If you like, you can uh, translate into questions that are more likely to be understood. Right, how many people live in this establishment? Four. The landlady, Miss Horatea Chapman, and a young man named Archibald Reed. Myself and a fourth character, very disreputable. Suggest that she might not be the picture of respectability herself. I'm not a secretive person, Grizz. If I am dis disreputable, you only have to ask about it. Yes, maybe, but then you might expect me to answer any of your questions. Is anyone in this establishment enamorificated or impassionated? What does this even mean? They're asking if anyone here is in love. Just ask that. Is anyone here in love? No. Oh, 
but you know the hidden secrets of my heart? Very well, write down whatever romantic confessions you like. I'll look in the other direction. Pres preserve your privacy. At this moment, a second visitor walks in. Who new character? Archie is a medical student. He hadn't finished his training before the fall, but he has plenty of work now. I was wondering if she was coming up with a made-up scenario, or um, if Archibald was a real person, so we, we have confirmation now. I wondered where you were. What are you looking for? There's something that needs explaining. Out I went this morning to, I vis to visit a patient, and what do I find pasted up on the wall? He holds up a broadsheet. There's a new decree in the Ministry of Cartography and tri tri Triography, and that all maps and atlases are to be surrendered or put on the fire. JP, hi, how are you? Yo, Katie, stream on Monday, yes. I made it. Right now we're playing the demo of um, Mask of Roses. It's your folk. It's, you. it's your folk making these rules quiz. Doing good, hope you had a good weekend. Yeah, I did. It was it was nice. I, it was enjoyable, relaxing. I got to see some birds. It was very nice. We'll, we'll stay out of this. I have no view. Will you be asking your Mr. Pages about these maps? Mr. Pages expects some loyalty from his people. None of us knows what is safe down here in the Neath. Most likely there are reasons you can't imagine. Chesky, please do collect at least a few census forms by tomorrow. At the end of the day, I'll find you and we can take them to Mr. Pages together. You know what I miss the most? Back home, his sister's hair turned color when it rained, blonde to a wet plastered brown. Like a mad hen she looked. Uh, so we have a task and we have a symbol for it, for choices related to the task. Ask him a census question. Grizz has me gathering census pages for the ministry. I, Grizz told me it was some such thing. Okay, we can pick. Put the query making it clear this is for the census. The census asks whether you're in love. Down here? Nay. What about before the fall? There was a lass back home, and what did me and what did me mother do but promise me to her? Encourage him to go on. That sounds like a tale. What happened? Eh, it's not so uncommon, I think. My mother was friends with the, this lass's parents. They were getting on in years, and her not married, and all because the whole village knew her business. So my mother and she fixed it up between us next time I were home, but I, I've not been back since. Seemed to me I ought to 
wait till I was finished by the, my studies. Might, might have a better look to it. Anything else you need for the before? Uh, one more question. What should I put on the census as your overall employment? I did sell off a couple of my old atlases just today. Censored maps sell for a good price if you know the right buyer. Ferrets vermin in eradication takes in more than just rats. New location discovered. Ferret's shop. Ferret is the local menace eradicator and there is a significant need for their services lately. That's everything I need. Sleep well then, will you? Ooh. So London fell less than a year ago, and red is how many in-game days it's been. Season of Confessions. Oh, that's what the paper symbol means. It's censuses. So we have no money and one census. The newspapers aren't what they used to be, but someone is still printing broadsheets these days. This morning's lies open on the table. Ministry of Accounting and Recounting offers extra rations in exchange for old pound notes. Wait, so that's money for... that's just buying food at that point. Okay. Oh, I like how the background lights up and changes. The curtains open. Recall the past. Always, I'm always reliving London's last night on the surface. I try to put it out of my head, but it's still there. The zooming of the sun at three in the afternoon, the sun turning the color of rust. The horrible bang in the cloud of dust from the direction of Westminster, the tolling of the bells. The, horse, the horsemen who rode down the street. We read in the garb of the palace, shouting, In Her Majesty's name, go indoors. And then the sky was full of bats, more bats than I thought could exist in the world. Wheeling, shrieking, defecating. People went indoors then, if they'd, ignore, if they'd ignored the criers, those that had no house crowded into the churches and under the bridges. Even now I don't understand. Her Majesty knew to send criers. The palace has, had been shuttered since that day. The royal family do not emerge. Surely if they had known this was coming, they would have departed London. It was only the city that fell. The rest of England, we assume, remains above. JP says that looks great. Yeah, the visuals look excellent in this. I reckon it's a tornado. I've read and heard of some that's similar in Welsh shows back in 1760. Night, light in the sky, and a noise like a thunderclap. Only character Portiana. That's no tornado. 
the love that it's a plague of Egypt. I interviewed before they annoyed one another. The newspapers will tell us in the morning what it was. Leastwise, it'll make a good story for the let for the letters home. Glasgow will be envious of our London fashions. Then the ground shook again, and the pipes rattled on the wall. I believe we can blame Miss Bas Basil Gelt's excavations digging about under London, causing a seismic disturbance. A seismic disturbance. And what did he find? And what did he find down he here? But a cave of three million bats. Is that what you reckon? There are stranger things beneath London. Oh, hi, collector. Sus. Yes. There was. There was rumors of digging, and then suddenly London goes underground. Around midnight, Grizz went upstairs and opened the door to the street, but she came she came right back down again. She said the cob pools were galloping about. It wasn't safe to walk outside. After that first bit, the memories collide and get confused. I have trouble keeping track of which came first and which came later, and whether I'm imagining something. I've spent a lot of days like this, thinking back, trying to piece together the bits of the puzzle. As if I could realize something that would make sense of it all. Uh, we haven't unlocked any new outfits, so let's head outside. Ooh, we've got a map now. So this is our house, church, and rat catchers. Okay, hopefully it auto saves. Ferret is the local menace eradicator. straight at my badge, but it's been noticed all the same. Everything's all right and tight here. Regular inspections and all that. We pay the constables their due. Making it, making it clear this is for the census. What 
description I put down about attachments for the census, that is. Strange thing, but I don't fancy sharing those particulars with your masters. It's my shy and delicate nature. Might put me to the blush if those if those things was to become known. if it was a forename or a surname. Might have come down to me from a noble house for all I know. Courtesy of the great-grandsire and his wife, Lord and Lady Stoat Weasel. Senses to write down whether you live alone. Ah, what's it to them? For all you know, I might keep a dormitory full of vermin killing apprentices. Like my master did with me for enough years. Took me out of the chimney sweeping trade and put me at rats instead. like it says on the sign, which now I notice you can't see. <laughs> the spiders is new. Used to be most people was happy to hit him with a slipper and be done with it. To the particulars of the rat catting, catching profession. Is business good then? I've been rat catching and mole killing for many years now, but I've never seen the business like this. There's demand for eradicating of for the eradicating of the beasties, and demand for their bodies when you're done with them. So the wages have never been so good, but I don't get so much competition as you might expect. Though it stands to reason, considering that one finds that what one finds in Iraq mess these days. If you ask me, in a year or two we'll need more more than a terrier to catch rats with. Might need firearms. the rats now. Hungrier, aren't they? They're used to they're used to a city's worth of scraps. Suddenly London scraps aren't worth the having. They'll come out bold as day and take a loaf off a man's plate if you aren't careful. And you hear stories, don't you, about rats getting so eager they'll gnaw on an infant in its crib. Calmly accept what's being said or stoic. Right then, I believe you. You can take my word for it. Truth to tell, I haven't been called on to deal with any chewed-on infants that wasn't already deceased. Unsavory subject. We'll try one more time to ask. Strange thing, but I don't fancy 
he's sharing this particular. Ah, oh, it's the same wording. I like the option that we can let him lead, let let them lead the conversation. Like whoever we're talking to. That form, do you have to put it put on it whether a person is a gentleman or not? There's nothing on it about gender. It doesn't ask anything about whether a person is male or female. That's good. Can't say I've ever liked answering that one. Um, we don't have any money to buy anything. come back, especially if you have anything of a varminous nature that wants looking into. Or if you meet with any likely virgins that wants to apprentice. I like looking into the ragged school, but they need to be found where they used to be. Judging by the clock, I can afford one more errand today before supper. Okay, it's good it lets us know. It's loading. I hope it's loading. Now, unfortunately, we weren't able to fill out this, the census completely, so we still only have the one. the first English martyr, a point of considerable pride to the local vicar. It's the church of our parish. This is the closest church to Hortania's. I've never darkened its door before. I see the masters are meddling with the affairs of the church. Tuski, agent for the Ministry of Accounting and Recounting. Making it clear this is for the census. What should I put on the census as your full name? Theophilius Wither Witherinwick. My father was determined that his second son should enter the church, so he chose a name that might serve as predestination. I've ended far from Yorkshire though, as it happens. my relatives since before the fall. I see. The last I heard, my father was not well. I shouldn't wonder if he too has passed on. Okay, so we have a name now. Now 
corporate census, what is your line of work? I see you are a vicar, but do you do anything else? From time to time, I've considered offering myself as a tutor to some enterprising pupils. My Greek and Latin grow rusty. I never put the plan into practice. Now, as we see, the education of the young is no longer a primary concern in the best houses. The census also asked me asked me to record whether you live alone. I live alone in the rooms provided for the vicar of this parish. There is a woman who comes twice a week to clean, or there was. Her visits have been more erratic of late. personal question, but it is for the census. Are you married or have you been married in the past? I was married. The lady was two or three years older than myself, a very sensible and capable woman. Her name was Anne. Back off what might be a sensitive subject. I am sorry, perhaps it is a recent loss. Not recent, but a loss all the same. On the other hand, it is a comfort to remember her. No one here knew her. No one here even speaks about her. Let the Theophilius lead the conversation. Uh oh. Something has landed on the roof. A dragon? It looks down at, at us through the gaping hole above. Its eyes are glittering. Bat. Point out that it's far, far too large to be a bat. It's larger than any bat I've seen, larger than an eagle to come to that. A gargoyle, an imp. It's landed there a few times before, especially when the choir is practicing. Say nothing until it goes away. One wouldn't want to encourage it to come inside and investigate. The thing up there is gone. Theophilius says nothing. His eyes remain fixed on the hole in the ceiling. I should finish preparing my sermon. It was good of you to stop in. The Lord see you safely home again. Porteria will be setting out the food now. Porteria. Oh, no background. I like the detail of the fireplace and the steam coming out of the food. Grizz is waiting for me. Whatever census forms you have ready, it is time to take them to Mr. Page's. I'm prepared. I sincerely hope that's true. Come with me. Once I've shown you, once I've shown you how to reach the ministry, you can come back on your own and turn in others. Grizz has me gather my papers. With luck, Mr. Pages will decide to keep you on. With that, she leads me outside and along down a side street that is no longer named. Uh, 
The way is serpentine, through streets that do not seem to lead towards the spires at the center of the city. But each time I look up, it is closer, the spiral building on the horizon. I was wondering what that building was. Finally, we, s we find ourselves standing in its shadow, under its walls. Before us is a low door at that once, I think, belonged to a solicitor's office. Grizz takes out a key made of something other than metal and unlocks the door. My own pile of papers, I've already sorted them three times. Mr. Pages is very particular about the ordering of documents. Nowhere has he gone, usually he's scared by this time of day. Oh. Ah, there you are, sir. We were just coming to bring you the census documents. A first installment of many, I'm sure. Mr. Pages, may I present Tusky? Tusky, this is Mr. Pages. The whole Ministry of Accounting and Recounting is under Mr. Pages' direction. Stand back and make no sudden moves. Thank you very much for the offering for offering me employment. The opportunities in London aren't what they used to be. Grizz assures us that they are improvocated. It is highly gratifactory that the populace of London appreciates their move. Ask whether Mr. Pages has something to do with the fall. Does that mean that you brought London here? I, alone, absurd notion. Mr. Pages is among the few who are helping us through the current catastrophe. It is hardly their fault that we find ourselves in this situation. Hardly. What have you brought us? most interregent. He gives me a shiny penny for my trouble. It's newly minted and has a portrait on the back of someone who is clearly not the queen. The face on the back of the coin stares at me until the hair prickles on my neck. It reminds me of a debt owed, and I don't want to remember, and my breath hitches and slows and resumes. Grizz specificated the existence of holy men who were wedded to the church. This one appears to have been wedded to a woman only. A disappointment, though we thank you. It might have been something more. It contemplates the final sheet of the census form again. What else is there? Pages offers me two pennies from a jar, bringing my stash to three. There are other coins in there, and a few things that aren't even coins. Buttons, pearls, probably false. A horse head carved from ivory or bone. The quality of their information impresses us this time. We did not expect much from Archie. Under account of Riz having already Reaffiliated that he is a lightless character. We can give Mr. Pages a census. Ask why the maps need to be outlawed. Why aren't we allowed to have maps and atlases anymore? We need the more 
more than ever. London hasn't isn't arranged where it used to be. I believe the ministry intends to resurvey the territory. In the meantime, it wouldn't do, you know, to have many people using fal fallacious maps. Fel the territory of the Neath is anti dispograted towards lying still. Does a building of that size materialize overnight? Or was it here already and London fell on top of it? The bazaar has been here since before the first city. London is the fifth city. Chris accommodates me out again when it's time to go. As we make our way back to Hortania's, Horatia's, Hortia, Hortia's, she asks me what I think of Mr. Page's. She tries to make it sound like an idly curious question. Make light of Page's tailoring challenges. that judging by the ink stains, she does not think he replaces his wardrobe terribly often. The rest of the walk is taken up with a speculation about Mr. Page's taste in gloves and boots. Before we go back inside the house, she reminds me. We have many more people in the neighborhood to survey for the census. You know how it's done now, so you can collect them and take them to Mr. Page's yourself. I have other duties, and I may not always be here, but Pages is, well, I am certain you won't be harmed if you visit the Ministry on your own. We'll ask neutrally if she has any impressions. I got the impression that you have an affection for Mr. Pages. Mr. Pages is a puzzle. Sometimes he can be protective, other times I think he would let me walk into the sea if I chose. Not because he dislikes me, but because he has no fear for me. He trusts me to judge for myself. Under Grizz, he calls me, but I'm not sure if I fall in love. If you should say anything about his feelings, please tell me. At this point, I go back to Horatia's. Can we eat? I don't know if it's loading or not. Hello? Oh, there we go. Phew! Archie is already at the table when I arrive. When he sees me come in, he gives me a guilty start and scoops some of his stew back into the tureen. <laughs> It took more than I, I write to, but I've not eaten any yet. Apologies. I'm 
too hungry to decline my dinner just because it took a, a search on into someone else's bowl. I was the last who asked me to come round and look at her brother, a Jewish family. They usually go to their own doctor, but he's out of service and ran away or something about it. Their old senior sign of God was destroyed in the fall, so they've moved to the tenor, tenor grounds scenario girl. One that has weathered the fall very well. New location. Rachel and David Lando. David has a stomach complaint. Chronic. Perhaps they have trouble cooking anything palatable. It isn't easy these days with what we have. The sister's a beauty. She wouldn't leave the room while I saw her, saw to her brother. And the brother, will he live? I, for a bit I thought it might be serious, but what he needs is his stomach settled. wants me to write down anything you're doing other than running the household. The house has been my business a long time now. My father left it to me. He bought it so I'd have a good place to live. He didn't want to leave it up to whether I'd find a husband. Which I haven't. The butcher at the corner used to ask me, but I think he wanted more room for his children. tell unnerving stories about Chris's new employer. Chris took me to the ministry. Her employer wears a cloak like a highwayman and keeps offices like a solicitor. Oh yes? Is the ministry very grand? I wouldn't say grand so much as extremely unnerving. They must be well to do if they, they have food enough to feed all of London. I'm not sure Chris is wise to work there. I've not liked the sound of them. It does sound unusual. I admit some of Chris's stories give me a turn, but you mustn't be too quick to judge. These people at the ministry might have different ways from ours. That's the end of supper. Rotia stands and begins putting the dishes away. Despite everything, there are still broadsheets printed. Archie bought, bought one, and the headlines read, Masters announce revised mushroom rations for hungry Londoners. Is this, is it a new thing or we'll try to see if it's new or the same thing. I remember the days of the fallen fragments. Is this the same as last time?
traits I can recall. I glimpsed something in a vivid mirror. I remember looking into a bit of mirror glass and seeing a woman who looked Mongolian. She was sitting in a palace with blood water rising around her, and the water was the color of milk. She looked frightened when she saw me, and then she was gone. And that... maybe it was a dream. Maybe I dozed off in the middle of that long night, but it doesn't feel like a dream. I can still feel see the embroidery of her jacket, the blue-black ink stains on her fingers where she had been writing. Try to get more census questions. I thought I might finish your census form as a place to start. Mr. Pages already knows all about me. I would have thought it was better it was a better use of time to ask anyone else. put on the census as your surname, or should that be your title? I don't speak to my family. This is for the census. Then you can put Smith. I don't plan on using their name in the future. according to my parents. So you ended the engagement? I left both the gentleman and my family. That is when I came to Horatia's. Even before the fall, Mrs. Chapman's boarding house attracted those that didn't belong anywhere else. like Grizz could not have lived alone at most respectable establishments, and she would scarcely have cared for the cheaper common lodging places. Why did you accept the proposal in the first place then? I could have set him on a perfect political life. Forcing his political allies with writing his speeches, hiring his secretaries, advising him. He had no aspirations, but he was well spoken and well connected. I could have made something of him. A few minutes of conversation vanished all hope. He meant to withdraw to the countryside and turn all his attention to his farm. Wrong 
Good luck. I have no regrets. I found my way to the ministry. I would have not come to the attention of Mr. Pages if I were still addressing invitations in my mother's sitting room. There we are. Thank you. I could have written in the answers myself. My penmanship, my penmanship is neater than yours. But then I wouldn't be performing my task, would I? I can just manage another errand before supper. We can go when Grizz is not present. Grizz has only shown me once how to visit the ministry. It's not hard for me to return on my own. Mr. Pages is at his, his desk when I come in. He raises his head and looks at me without saying anything. Do you have anything more? Mr. Pages takes the census page eagerly and spends some time scanning it. There is something it is looking for, something it keeps looking for, that I that it cannot find. This one is of interest. Famous lacking exorty. Do you have anything more? Mr. Pages pays. Then it puts the census page in a stack of others, much like it. It weighs the stack down with a paperweight. If I look too hard at the paperweight, my eyes sting. Pages turns the papers over carefully. Almost all as I would expect from the undercan grizz. It's almost purring, but it stands there looking at the page about if yours is not existing in romantic life for what seems a lifetime. Chris's pre previous suitor was unmeritory. Point out that Chris evidently decided to sing. By what I can tell, she felt much the same. We will determine whether he lives and whether his family lives. Andrakan Grizz shall not be troubled with a distraction from them. What, that's my only option? Pretend that Pages has said nothing alarming. Ah, uh, yes. The place looks like a repurposed law office. The shelves, the desk, the paperwork, it could be any ordinary solicitor office. But a few things look wrong when I attend to them. That paperweight on Mr. Page's desk, it makes my eyes sting to look at it. We advise against looking too long. Those that aren't careful may be troubled with nightmares. I say farewell to Mr. Pages. Pages does not reply at all. It is at times difficult to tell whether Pages is intentionally ill-mannered or merely has no interest in discovering what the proper etiquette might be. The hallways outside. <clears throat> Sorry, the text was loading. The hallways outside are hushed, except that if I listen closely, there is a sound like something walking with an uneven gait. It chews, or perhaps its toenails, click on a polished floor. It's time to go home.
It's good one of you is here for supper. Neither Archie nor Grizz have made an appearance today. Good evening, I'm looking for Mr. Reed. Is he here? Archie, he's upstairs. Archie turned up at the const as the constable of these streets right around the time London fell. I didn't see him I didn't see him around here before that, but he's watched over the neighborhood since. Listen. Yes. I know all the old maps have been outlawed, but if you come for his atlas, do you think you could leave it with him? It gives him a lot of comfort remembering all those little villages in Scotland where his family used to live. Put in a good word for Archie's map collection. Yes, leave Archie's maps. He's not doing any harm with them. And that isn't why I'm here. Oh, is it to do with his doctoring? I hope no one's too ill. I know Archie worries trying to do a physician's work when he didn't finish his training. Does he often treat people? All sorts. We have people showing up here at every time of day or night, not that there's much distinction now between the two. And I will say, for all he talks about not being trained, he's at his happiest when he's seeing to someone. So calm and gentle, especially with the children. Very admirable. Have you ever known Archie to make mistakes, prescribe the wrong dosages? Certainly not. Of course, Archie chooses this moment to come down the stairs. Archie, I hope you're well. I'm sorry, Archibald. I'm here in the line of duty. It's about David Lando. Did something happen to him? I only saw him today. Shortly after your visit, he died by poisoning. Died? The poor man. No, are you sure there's not some mistake? I'm sorry to have to bring you this news. Is Rachel alright? Is there anyone with her to protect the house? Lando said you were the last person to speak with David. The fatal dose must have come from you. I do not un understand. I'm here to arrest you for murder. Wait a moment, perhaps Mr. Lander's own relations took against Archie's manner, and they're blaming him for what he didn't do. Exactly. Like, there's very little evidence. My manner? Your way of speaking is peculiar, love. Sometimes people leap to a conclusion for the wrong reason. I know it was just time till some of them took glory. There's too many folks ill, and can I cure the whole town? Where are you taking Archie? Newgate Prison was destroyed in the fall. For the time being, prisoners are held in the HMS Ungulate. Sounds like a very in severious environment, cold, damp, infested with vermin, breathing the vapors of the Thames. It might not be good for the health of the prisoners. You're not talking your way out that way. No, I mean, if you didn't mind, before we set out, I'd like to collect a few doses of this and that. 
things that might help to settle the bad lungs and prolonged coughs. You're asking whether before we go, you can be allowed to rearrange your collection of drugs and bring some of those drugs with you. That is, is not how I would have phrased it. When you stand accused of murdering a man through the use of potent to toxins, oh, for the sake of your future guards and cellmates, I think I must refuse. What? No, that's our only option. Horatia, I'll be back as soon as I can. Don't let out my room to anyone else. Next time on Mask of the Rose. If you want to see the surface again, tell me the truth. What's in the bottle? I don't know what it is. I only know what it does. And you've no need to lie. I know I'm, I'm no seeing the surface again. Archie's books. Help me burn them before they give Harjeet the wrong idea. There is a true story in here, and thousands of false ones. in blunt terms, desperate to forget, Archie turned to drink. Meanwhile, Grizz... Compelling, but for next time... More heart crumbulence is required. disturbing the gravesite. But you, I know you'll help me, for your friend's sake, even if you don't care about David. My companion is good with a shovel. Rachel, I'm sorry, I have no choice. We thought you were dead. I was. And we need to see to my murderer. The next time he tries, I might not be able to come back. We hope you have enjoyed playing the Mask of the Rose demo. Nice, we finished the demo. I enjoyed that. was the demo of Mask of the Rose. I had fun and I hope you enjoyed it as well. You can wishlist it on Steam right now. And I think now is a good time to stop the stream uh, once the main menu loads up. That was nice. I liked the um, the visuals, the music was nice, the story's intriguing, we've got some sort of mystery unfolding, and we've, we've only seen the beginning of it, and I, I found the character building, character creation aspects interesting, we get to choose our clothes, and I also like how we can choose what our character is looking for, are they looking for friendship, are they looking for attraction? Are they looking for romance? Are they looking for romance and attraction? I, I thought that was a really nice touch. So I think I'll stop the stream now and I'll be playing.
explain something else, uh, hopefully next week. So thank you for watching.